Hi, I'm Courtney, and welcome to Book Talk. Today, I'll be talking about the second book in Ali Condi's Match Trilogy, Cross. And I finished it today, and I was right. I did not like this book at all. I hated it. Just didn't like it. And I don't really know the top reason why everyone hates it, but I will explain mine in the book talk. So being this is the second book, if you have not read Match, go read it. I have a book talk for it. It's about four minutes long because I didn't have a lot to say about it. But there's much more to describe because of my hatings for it. So go read Match and go read Cross and come back when you're done. So bye now, spoilers. Oh, look at this. Hate this book. Boom. <laughs> okay, so Cross. I think I talked about in my match book talk that everyone said bad things about Cross. And so, my reason for hating Cross is, you know, when I first started this, you know, it's told from, from Kai's point of view. Also, you know, I love Kai. He's awesome. He's cool. He's unique. I love the kid. And so, I'm all excited. You know, I'm going to give cross a chance you know I might be one of those few people that actually like it but I was wrong I did not like it reading the first chapter it was boring like all these chapters were boring and that's the reason why I hate this book so much it's boring and I really don't like reading board boring books like nothing exciting happens in it nothing zero even when Kai and Cassie got reunited that was not really that exciting because it was nothing in comparison of the first best reunion. Or even Zack and Cammy's reunion in United We Spy. Like, no. It was lame. It was in the middle of the night. It was like, probably in the middle of the night, midnight. It was dark. And they saw each other and ran to each other. Well, he ran to her. And then they were back together. And, and then the moment was over. And it was just so lame. And this book was just so boring nothing awesome happens like when they meet hunter he's like you know we need to make an explosion make landslide and i really don't know why they had to make a landslide i was kind of confused on that but they did and kyle's like oh i want to do it so he does the explosion runs off and then landslide made goes through the township and then boom there's a landslide okay that that wasn't really exciting for me at all like boom then last side made it just happened nothing awesome happened like nothing like a bunch of people were dying there was a bunch of attacks and then they were just lost in the canyon and it was so confusing and I just didn't like it it was just boring I felt like I was reading a school book that we could pick ourselves but it was so boring I could just not stand this book. I just want to shoot. And I hate And I have it in hardcover, which makes it even worse because I don't want this book in hardcover. Stupid. But the whole. So we learned there's, there's this rebellion. And it's called The Rising, which I feel like they're jinxing themselves because The Rising is kind of like, oh yeah, we're going to rise. We're going to win. You know, we're called The Rising. So we're going to win because we're going to rise. Uh. No. You're jinxing yourself. Like, I feel like they might fail. But most rebellions, they don't. Mocking J Rebellion didn't fail. I feel like the rebellion through the whole Divergent series kind of really didn't fail. It's kind of confusing. Um, I feel like I'm in the one by Kara Cast, like that series. There's going to be a rebellion because of the whole cast system. That I feel like that's not going to fail. But this one, I feel like it will. Because the society is so powerful. And there's these weaklings, these winkling little farmers and peoples. From that, from that are aberrations. Whoever you, they are. I don't. I don't feel like they're gonna win. I don't feel like they really don't stand a chance. But I don't know. I mean, I hope they win because I really don't like society. I feel like society sucks because it. There's, it's so bad. I would not stand a chance in the society world. I would hate it. I would be a part of the right thing. And I would hope they would win and not die, like Kai said. And I have to agree with Kai that he, I see why he did not want to join because that's how his parents died. Like, so many people died from this rebellion, and he might be one of them that dies. I mean, I don't know. I hope he doesn't die. I mean, I hope Xavier does. 
if I had to choose one, I would pick Xander. And I will talk about Xander in a second. And I see why Kai thought, you know, I don't want to join this. My parents died. A thousand people have died because of this rebellion. I don't want that to be me. And now with Xander, Xander's in the beginning of this. And, you know, we learned that Xander is also part of the Rising. Which, oh, I, w I just felt so betrayed. Because I feel like it's something Xander wouldn't do. I felt like... He loved the society, like he was a perfect part of it. And then he joins the Rising to stop it, which was weird. I, I didn't really understand that at all. And so I don't like Xander anymore for joining it. And and I wish they told Cassia about the secret. Well, I was actually confused with the secret, but now I think it's about the Rising that he's in it. But I think they should have told her before she went to Central, because that's where he's going, and so, I don't know how that's going to turn out. They said, they kept saying, oh, it's his secret, he should tell you. Well, that doesn't always happen all the time, so, they should have told her, so she could have been mad at him, and, like, this whole fight could have happened, but a fight's probably going to happen anyway, but I think she had the right to know, because relationships, you're going to be honest. Honesty is a very important thing, relationships, you realize that through books, like, America and Maxon, Tristan Tobias, and now that's going to be Kai and Cassia, and they did get to some fights in it, they weren't as surreal, but still, I, I really don't know, they should have told her about it, and also Cassia, I was thinking Cassia was going to be much more awesomer in this, because I love Cassia, and Matched, I love Matched, but this one, Cassia was just a disappointment to me, because she didn't really do anything awesome. Like, no. They were just all running through this canyon. Like, I feel like they're running through the Grand Canyon, personally, because, like, the canyon was so big. And so, I feel like they're just... I, 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 don't, I don't really know. So, you know, last chapter's Cassia, and she's all like, you know, I'm going to see Kai again tonight. Like, I will. And I feel like that might not happen, because... My friend, she was reading Reach while I was reading Match. She said, you know, something bad happens to Kai. Like, he gets sick. So, I don't really know what's going to happen in Reach. And I heard it's also toyed in Xander's point of view. Great. Another point of view to add. Which, I feel like I'm not going to like Xander. Because I don't like him anymore. I mean, I loved him in Match. You know, he was a nice guy. And he doesn't need to be mad because of Cassia. Because she's choosing her true love. Like, it's not meant to be. Just because you're Match... Not mean you're in love. Like, I feel like Xander might be in love with someone else. Like, maybe Indy. Like, how Indy is in love with him. Which, Indy, I feel like, is a stalker. Because she, he, she like, knows everything about him. But has not met him. I just don't really know. I really don't know what to expect for Reach. I'm not going to read it anytime soon. I mean, I might read it in, like, a few weeks. But I'm not going to read it anytime right now. Because I just don't stand this. I... I just really hate this book. I just want to, boom. I give it like a 70% because I just, I gave it one star on Goodreads today. I was just like, you still deserve a star because of Kai and Cassia. But this book, I just didn't like it at all. No. I just hope Reach redeems itself and hopefully Xander makes up his mind and gets calm. It's just like, um, now I can compare him to Aspen and I don't want to do that because Xander, you're than Aspen, but I really don't know. I just really did not like this book at all. It, the main reason I hate it is it was because it was boring. Nothing awesome happened, and that's all I have to say for it. It's all, it's all I have. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more, click the subscribe button down below. I am Courtney, and I will see you all next time.